Greetings programs and welcome to Arc Neo Reviews, where today we're going to be having a little bit of a double feature, because neither of these bots are quite intricate enough to do uh, a video, you know, like a solo video on, so we're actually going to have a double feature of G1 Reissue Tailgate and Warpath. So, um... Yeah, we've got a couple of the uh, G1 reissued mini bots. They actually released like a whole bunch of these. But what's funny is, I actually bought this one because I found them on major sale, and I'm like, you know, okay, yeah, I might as well get a mini bot. You know, just say I've got one. I kind of like this car mode and stuff, so I'm like, yeah, cool. We'll we'll go with tailgate. And then like the moment I got home with them, I found out this guy was coming out, and I'm like. Well, crap. Because, um, yeah, I'm a little bit obsessed with tanks, and so giving me, you know, like a matchbox size tank that's also a Transformer, yeah, that's... that You're, you're getting my money. I, I'm powerless to do anything about that. So, uh, start off here, little tailgate. Uh, nice chrome bumper there. Black for all the windows and uh, whatever... This is... I don't know Hades cars very well. Um, back doesn't always quite line up completely, but it's whatever. Um, wheels roll really well. Um, they are just plastic. I know that a lot of G1 guys would have uh, rubber wheels. These ones are just plastic, though. Uh, visible everything <laughs> underneath, which is kind of funny, but... It's whatever. And then, uh, you know, classic rub symbol up here in the middle of the hood. So, uh, transforming this guy is hysterically easy. So you just stand him up, fold these down, give him his legs, then you can, uh, th they kind of rock in and out just a little bit. So, you know, get that little bit of clearance there between them. And then pull out his arms. And you're done. Um, you, you know, f for as small as he is, it's pretty cool looking. You know, I do like the sticker details on him. There is, you know, sort of a handish thing molded in <laughs> these. Like, little itty bitty fingers if you look really closely there. And, uh, yeah, this, that's all of his articulation. Unless you want to, um untransform the leg which just flops it's either locked in there or locked in there there is no in between but you know considering that i just got this guy to sit underneath my monitor and look cool with some of my other like really small figurines he does the job and i do i do like the design you know the nice little blue visor there on the Classic styled, you know, just robot face with a plate instead of a mouth. You know, I, I, I dig it. I'm I'm good with this. So, um, let's go over here to Warpath. Warpath actually had a lot more going on in his transformation than I expected. Um, off the top of my head, I cannot tell you what type of tank this is. I'm aware that his car mode and this tank are actually both based off of real things that actually exist, unlike now, where they tend to be just, you know, fantasy, it's a sports car. You know, th this thing is a specific type of tank. Um, sadly, uh, just wheels, you know, no way they could have made these treads work, but it would have been nice if the wheels at least were in the tread, just give it that little bit extra, but it's whatever. And kind of funny enough, he's a backwards tricycle, so he's just got one roller in the back. Um, you can actually spin the turret, which is, you know, a nice little touch. He has a little bit of articulation. Doesn't go up and down, but goes side to side. Uh, rub symbol in the front there, as you'd expect, again. Um, not bad amount of molded detail on him, actually, for, again, you know, G1, small, simple figure. So, for transformation, you're going to want to uh, grab him back here, pull back, which, uh, that can get stuck sometimes, but... It'll come out eventually. Then pull these bits of the tread out to the side. Fold this gray piece up. Rotate 
the, everything up on uh, that axis, slide the turret back, and then flip up his face. And there you have Generation 1 Warpath. And, you know, as silly and kind of goofy as he looks, I really like this guy, actually. So, uh, let's get in. He does... He almost has kind of a Cylon thing going on with his face here. If uh, I can get the camera to look at his face and not the turret. Like, I know it's supposed to be, you know, just two black eyes and then some red in the middle, but I can't help but just see, like, a black visor with the red, you know, going back and forth. Because Cylons are really cool. <laughs> um, articulation, he's got his arms, they can spin around... Uh, hands are molded a little bit better than the last guy. Although, uh, the arm rotates at a weird point. So, it only actually looks good when it's that way. And, uh, he, he can actually look back and forth if you want to go ahead and, you know, use that turret joint. But, either way, um, both of these guys are actually, they're pretty cool. You know, it's nice to have just a little... Small beta G1 in your collection, you know, and especially Warpath, I really recommend him, but I'd actually say pick up any of these guys if you can still find them and they're at a decent price. They're, they're, these minibots are just kind of cool. You know, they're sort of something I wish they'd go back to, because I know we're still getting like the Micromasters and stuff, but I feel like the Micromasters would have been a lot cooler if they didn't also have to have, you know, weapon modes forced into them. If they could have just been little Hot Wheel matchbox size Transformers, that, that would have been cooler. So, anyway, thanks for watching this weird little ramble, and I will see you guys next time.